Well, at the time that you went in, you were 26 years old. Uh, you probably weren't thinking about the implications of what you were doing. You were making exactly. money fast. You were, you know, spending money fast. Yeah. You were living the life. Exactly. But what you were doing with, you know, the kilos, the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of kilos you were pushing through the city. Exactly. Were, was causing the destruction of families, I was the destruction of communities. City. Exactly. Uh, I was, you know, I, I know, I know families who had crack babies and exactly. these kids exactly. always had problems throughout their lives. Exactly. Uh, serious implications. When you think about what you did and what you contributed to during that time, how do you feel about it now as a 60 something year old man? I feel absolutely bad when I think about the destruction that I helped to cause, that I helped to cause. Um, mm -hmm. You just put it so good, uh, Vlad, that at that time, as a young man, I had no idea of the damage and shit what I was doing with selling drugs in my community, in my city. I had no idea. And looking in hindsight or not, I mean, I started to realize it maybe after a good five or 10 years that I was incarcerated and started educating myself and, and, and understanding what I was doing. And every chance I get, I apologize to my people, my fellow citizens of Washington, D.C., as I'm doing right now. I apologize to them for the damage I caused to my city for selling drugs in my city. And all I can do now is what I've been doing. I've been out 18 days, and, man, every time I get, man, I'm trying to help and, and contribute to my city in a, in a positive way and to my community. And that's what the rest of my life is going to be about. You know, my son been doing it, but that's, that's a little different, but I'm here too. And I, 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 actually, I have been doing it even from prison, whether it's from mentoring, whether it's from connecting younger guys who I see that have potential to go out in the world and be better and not commit crimes. So, yeah, that's why I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, man, because I wanted to say it anyway, man. I apologize. Man. But I do realize the damage that I caused to people, man with helping to fuel their addiction or maybe start some addiction. And I'm sorry for that. Well, uh, before you got out, there was stickers all over the city saying free Tony Lewis and so forth. Now you're out of prison. Rayful Edmund is still in prison and he told on 20 people, if not more. Uh, I've interviewed people like Kurt Bone and Ears the Christ and Teflon Sean. They they consider this guy a rat and just a absolute filth. Is it ironic that you get out without telling on anybody and he's still in prison and he told on everyone and is ultimately he can't go back to D.C. and get the type of reception that you got? I, I feel that it is ironic. You know, um, I never thought that I would beat him out of prison in any kind of way because of what he did for the government, you know? And all I can say is I'm glad I'm free and I'm out of prison. Uh, for anything else concerning him, that's for him to deal with and whoever, you know. So, yeah, that's all I can say on that, you know? Well, people ultimately didn't learn from your example. You know, you, you built things up to a certain degree. It came crashing down. You got life without parole. Rafa got right, life without parole. But, you know, the story continued on and on. Like, you know, we talked about the BMF story. Mm -hmm. You know, they probably looked at you guys and said, well, we're smarter than them. We're, we're not going to make the same mistakes. We're not going to, you know, stumble the way they did. We're not going to be flashy or so forth. But ultimately, everyone becomes flashy and everyone ends up going through the same thing. And, exactly. And all these big drug operations come crashing down. And I mean... I hung out with BMF. They had billboards yeah. in, in Atlanta and said the world is BMFs, like a slap in the face to, to the feds, essentially. I'm, I remember I saw that and I got scared. I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to be around this, man. This is this is insanity. This is insanity. Because it was clear what was happening. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like you could try to say it's a record label, but come on, there's yeah. no superstars on this label. Uh and, and it continues on and on. on and and there will be another. There is another Tony Lewis senior right now that's thinking that he's not going to make the yeah. same mistakes as yeah. you. But I don't know of anyone that managed to just write off into the sunset with millions of dollars to their name. Yeah. I mean, do you? No. And that's why yeah. I just said what I just said to the young people, man, because, you know, I really care about our young people, especially in Washington, D.C., but all over the country. My son, Tony Lewis Jr., he really cares about the young people and the people of the city. And he's been out there hopping this message and using me and my situation as an example for them to not go that route. 
But like you said, man, it's sad to say that it is going to be people who feel that they can they can be more slicker, they can be more low key, and that the United States government is not going to get them. Uh, who beats the government? Nobody. You know, on your indictment, it's you versus the United States of America. You're not going to win. It's, 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 it's futile. It's stupid. And that's what I be trying to tell the young people. I got a job right now, man. I'm working in construction. I never thought I would want a job or have a job, but I'm happy to have a job. And I tell the young people, come on with me, man. Let's get a job. Let's work. But you, that's, that doesn't have to be your end. It's businesses. You got ideas. You, you're young people. You're talented. But you got to start somewhere. And let's start, man, on the right track, man, with employment, man, and go from there. You might be owning the company in, in a, such amount of, a certain amount of time. It just takes hard work, man. That easy money, what you think easy. And just like you said, Vlad, trying to be the next whatever, whatever, and think that you can outsmart the government, it's, 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 it's not going to happen. Not, it's not going to happen.